Labor Day didn't stop the race for the White House here in Michigan. Vice President Kamala Harris met with labor leaders and workers on the east side of the state. That's as some Republicans pushed back on her visit. 13 on your side political reporter Josh Albertus has our coverage tonight. In a race as heated as the one for president, there's seemingly no time to take a pause. On Labor Day, Vice President and Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris traveling to Michigan. On Labor Day and every day, we celebrate the dignity of work. The dignity of work. We celebrate unions because unions helped build America and unions helped build America's middle class. Harris marking the holiday alongside local workers and union leaders, a key voting block in this key swing state. In this very city, 10,000 people marched in one of our nation's first Labor Day parades. Many held signs that read, divided, we can beg, united, we can demand. And so when I am president, we will pass the PRO Act and end union busting once and for all. But in their own press call alongside auto workers, some Republicans pushing back on the visit. What makes America great is our, it, part of it is our economy and the Harris administration is coming after auto workers' jobs. There will continue to be more layoffs. Well, it's a dead heat here. If you look at ABC's 538 forecast, who's favored to win each state? The purple ones are the ones that they've labeled toss up states. You see Michigan that was light blue like Wisconsin just in as we were heading into the weekend. Now it's shifted back into the toss up column. That algorithm works based on factors, including recent polls. Now a couple polls still have Harris leading here by a few points, but an Epic MRA poll just over the weekend commissioned by other news outlets in the state showed Trump with a one point lead in a head to head matchup. Let's put that into some perspective. If you do the math on the voting totals from 2020 in that presidential race, 1% in Michigan was about 55,000 votes. That's a little more than the population of the city of Kentwood. That's how many people could decide this statewide election if those polls hold up. So likely going to be a nail biter with just over 60 days to go until election day.